Hi boys and girls, this is your unit 14, week one, day two. I'm going to introduce a new concept. Take a look at this large sound card. OU is another spelling of the ow sound. The keyword here is trout. That is a type of fish. It is a trout. So please be my echo. OU, trout. Ow. Now we will practice building some words using OU making the OW sound. Okay, the first word that I'm going to build S O U T H. Let's tap it out. Ow, south. The word is south. Spell it away. S O U T H. The next word. C O U C H. Let's tap it out. K Ouch. Couch. The word is couch. Spell it away. C O U C H. The next word S O U N D. Let's tap it out. S O U D. Sound. The word is sound. S O U N D. This time we'll practice a word and then I will show you the markup. S C O U T. Let's tap it out. S -k out. Scout. The word is scout. When we are marking, Scout, we will begin by scooping our syllable. It's a one syllable word, scout. And we're going to circle the OU. And that is a double vowel. Mark it with a D for a double vowel syllable. So it's just the same markup that we've been seeing with all of our vowel teams throughout the unit. Okay, now I need to erase my markup. Spell it away, S-C-O-U-T. If I were to say, what says ow, what two combinations make the ow sound. O W says ow, like in plow, and O U says ow, like in trout. We will use the spelling option procedure to decide which spelling of O U is to be used in a word. There is also some spelling rules that will help us decide which spelling is correct. So, when I say O-U, I mean ow. O-W can be used at the end of a word or syllable. Take a look at our first two words. The first one, p-l-ow, plow. You see the O-W being used at the end. And then we have flower. Flower is a two syllable word. And you can see that it is at the end, the OW is being used at the end of the first syllable. Flower. Oh, you cannot come at the end of a word or syllable. It must have a consonant after it. Here we have the word t or ow. 
trout, and we see the OU is in the middle. It says here it cannot come at the end. And then OW is usually found at the end of a word or syllable, but sometimes comes in the middle. So that OW, once again, it can be at the end or sometimes in the middle. And we see two words giving us an example. We have k ow, cow, and then we have k er ow, d proud. And you can see that OW at the end and then in the middle. Now, the next thing, I have a chart here. And our chart explains exactly what we just reviewed. So at the beginning and the middle, you can see OU and OW. At the end, you will only see the OW. So this will help us with our procedures. And again, you have your spelling option section of the student notebook, which I'm posting on Google Classroom for you to use when spelling words. Let's practice. I am going to dictate a word. Be my echo. Cloud. Let's tap out cloud. C -l -ow -d. We had four taps. Was the ow sound at the beginning, the middle, or the end of the word? It was in the middle of the word. So, once again, if I look here in the middle, I have two choices, O-U and O-W. Now, when I'm building the word, C-L, I'm going to put a blank right here in the middle, D. Okay, now I'm going to show you the spelling option procedure. So, I have C. L, we said that it could be O-U, D. It can also be C, L, O-W, D. So, I am trying both out. Do either one of these look familiar to you? Cloud. Do you think you know the correct spelling of cloud? Let's check it in our spelling option section of the student notebook. So, here we have the spelling option section. And I know that it begins with a C. And I know that the next letter is an L. So I'm going to scroll down until I see the CLs. Here we go. Now, C L O U D. I found it. I found cloud and then I found cloudy. So cloud is the word that I'm looking for. And I see that it is the O U. So the O U is the correct spelling of cloud. So we are going to be using our spelling option section throughout the unit, and you are going to get more familiar with this O-U sound, O-U and O-W, making the ow sound. I know it can be tricky, but you will get it. Have a great day, friends.